Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create guides around a document in Adobe Illustrator where the guides are an even number of pixels or an even number of whatevers in from the sides of the document. And this is going to work regardless of what size your document is. I'm going to click here on new file and I'm just going to choose a print document because it's a little bit different if you like in terms of measurement so it's going to be a really good example to use. The document is 612 by 792 points. I do need to know that so I'm going to write that down if I don't remember it. I'm going to click create and now I'm going to add a rectangle to the document. It's pretty important that this rectangle has no fill and no stroke. Let's click on the rectangle tool and click in the document. Now my document was 612 by 792. So I'm going to type those values in but I'm not going to click OK yet because what I want to do now is to determine what sort of gutter I want around the edge of the document and I want a 10 point gutter in from every single one of the edges so I need one from the left and one from the right so I'm going to shrink this rectangle down by 20 points. So I'm just going to type a minus sign and 20 and tab and then I'm going to come down here and type a minus sign and 20 and let Illustrator do the mathematics for me. I'll click OK. Now I'm going to center this rectangle inside my document and you can see that there's a nice small even margin around this document but we're not finished yet. This is a rectangle. So with the rectangle selected we're going to object and then path and we're going down here to split into grid. Now what you want is a one row one column grid and the total should be the number of points that we put in this rectangle which is just fine. Click on preview and click add guides and you'll see that we've now got guides appearing in the document and we'll click OK. In the layers palette when I open that up I've got not only the guides, this group of guides here but I've still got my path, my initial path. I'm just going to delete that because I don't need it any longer but here are the four guides in my document and that's going to work for any document of any size. All you're going to do is to create a rectangle smaller than the document size by the amount of the margins that you want in terms of vertical and horizontal. They don't have to be equal. If you want a bigger margin at the top and a smaller one at the side that's just fine too. Let's just see how we do that file new. Let's this time choose a document that's just 2000 by 2000 pixels in size. I'm going to click on my rectangle tool, click in the document. So my starting point was 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. I would like the top margin to be 100 and the bottom one to be 100. So that's 200 in total that I have to take off the height. Actually let's just click in the height box and make sure it goes in the right spot. And say I want a 50 pixel margin either side well 250s are 100 so we're going to knock 100 off the width and click OK. I'm going to center this up inside my document, bigger top margin and bottom margin, smaller left and right with the rectangle still selected, object path, split into grid. It's a one by one column grid. We're going to add guides. We're going to click on preview so we can see everything looks pretty good. Click OK. In the layers palette we've got all our guides here. This is our guides and we've still got our original path. Well we're just going to click on that and delete it. And so the document is set up with guides that we can now use in Adobe Illustrator as we work. If you like carefully researched content like this clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.